of Synopsis, and I'm here with our great partner, Jit Lim from Keysight Technologies. We're here on the show floor of DesignCon 2022. And Jit, what are we showing in your booth today? As you can see in this picture over here, we have superb signal integrity, minimal reflections, just a wide open eye with lots of margin, which is what we want. Well, I'm sure our designers that are interested in USB 4 will be very excited to hear that seeing in real life actual silicon results. Um, I noticed that you have up here on the board um, some additional eyes. Um, what are you showing specifically, Jet? This is a great question. So as you can imagine, you know, time is money and uh, efforts and fab is expensive. On the left is actually a simulation with ADS using your IBIS IMI models that shows the eye on a long channel test case. And on the right, the measurements on a scope. You can see almost perfect correlation between the left simulation and the right. This is really a picture that shows the entire chain from design simulation all the way to measurements correlating. And that's what we want, because the last thing you want to do is turn on a chip and not know what it's supposed to do. So it's a wonderful picture that should bring together the entire world from simulation to measurement. That's awesome, Jit. Well, it's great that Keysight is showing uh, real-world products and services that allow uh, designers to go and implement USB 4 in their next-generation chip designs. So on behalf of Jin and myself, I want to thank you for watching. And we're here with our great partner, Pega Lobby with Keysight Technologies. We're here on the floor of DesignCon 2022. And Pega, what are we showing here in the booth today? Thank you for asking, Gervais. So we are going to be looking at a simulation for USB 4 Gen 3 that we've done using the Design Web 5 from Synopsys. And we've also done correlation between the simulation results and the lab results. So I wanted to make sure we have a chance to see that. Can you look at that now? Absolutely. We have ran a simulation in ADS and we've also uh, done measurements in the lab using the Infinium scope on Synopsis is fine, and we can see that the eyes are closely matching. So, to go from here, let's take a quick look at it, the simulation test bench that we have used in ADS. What we have are a transmitter uh, IBIS AMI model and a receiver IBIS AMI model that each are representing the transmitter and receiver for uh, the Designwear 5 from uh, Synopsys. You can see that we're running just at 20 gigabits per second, which is a data rate for USB 4 Gen 3. We have a composite channel that represents the behavior of the channel used. This is an S parameter used for the simulation. And after we complete the simulation, what we're actually getting is an eye, right, that clearly matches the spec. I've superimposed the USB 4 Gen 3 test point 3 mask on here so it's very clear that the eye is passing with flying colors and we're seeing what we're expecting. As I mentioned the next part is to make sure that our simulation and measurement are correlating and that's what we showed you at the beginning. Thank you very much for watching.